All right, Piper. Sophie, come on. Ew. All right. Oh boy. Okay. No, sit, sit, sit. No, 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 Piper. Sit, stay. No, stay. Stay. Piper, walk. Piper, walk. Good girl. You good girl, little Piper. Okay, so Piper, sit, 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 sit. Sophie, shake my hand. Good girl, here you go. So it is the 1st of January today, and I'm starting my blog, and this is just kind of to show you guys uh, everything that's kind of involved in this trip and the pre-planning, uh, post-planning, all that sort of stuff. So right now I'm packing all my stuff together. So uh, over here is all my stuff that I'm bringing with me. It's a lot less than what I usually bring. So I'll start over here and I'll show you guys what, what I'm bringing. This is my uh, Scotty vest. And this vest has about 18 pockets in it. Um, it's really lightweight and it's great for traveling and needing to conceal important things. Um, so this is great for traveling in places where you feel like you might be uh, mugged or something like that. This is a nice little dress thing for my meetings uh, with Skull. Um, I have two t-shirts, a white and a black one. I also have a white tank top and a black tank top, which I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. This is a long sleeve uh, UV rays uh, sunblock shirt. It's uh, also great for mosquito mosquitoes because it's so bright. I'm wearing this shirt tomorrow. This is also a long sleeve UV shirt. Um, so I have two long sleeve shirts. These are a pair of long, long pants um, for the mosquitoes to kind of write to keep them away. Um, they're also great. They have pockets in them and every, they have about five pockets for when I'm traveling uh, in the airports. A pair of running shorts that also doubles pajamas, a pair of just regular shorts, and that's that's it. Um, I also have a long pair of black uh, black leggings, which these I'll wear tomorrow along with the black shirt, sports bra, and my running shoes. I'm only bringing two pairs of shoes this time. So these are my flip-flops that I'm bringing. They also do uh, double as shower flip-flops too. This is my raincoat with all my sponsored logos on it. In here, I have all my Adventures and Scientists for Conservation uh, testing and sampling materials, as well as, um, in case I get sick, pills from the doctor, um, Traveler's Diary and all that. These are the Declaration of Pieces, which have to be kept in this bag for weather resistance. I also have a smart travel bag, which is also, uh, well, it's a first aid kit. And then a little tiny towel-y for uh, washing my face and whatnot. I'll put that there. This is also a long uh, towel for the beach or shower or whatnot. Over here, I have my new um, carbon fiber tripod. The other one kind of fell apart and got rusted really quickly and easily, so this one's a little bit more sturdy, it's a little bit taller, and I think it'll work a lot better. My GoPro and the GoPro stick, and here I have all my cords to charge everything. This is a, it goes into my universal charger, which is currently charging my camera battery, um, but this goes into that, um, and then I can charge everything at once. This goes to the top of the um, tripod here. Um, this is a bag that I'm using. Um, it's by Sovereign Republic. And I just, I saw them on Instagram and I immediately really, really wanted the bag. It's really nice. And it's just perfect for this trip for Central America and the Caribbean. I don't need much since it's really kind of warm out, but it's just perfect for all, I, for all my needs. The tripod goes on the side, water bottle, has a pocket here, pocket on the inside, a couple more pockets on the inside. It also doubles as a um, duffel bag. You can roll this down and cover it, and then it also has a strap to put it over your shoulder as a duffel bag. Um, it also has a rain cover in here that's black and just really simple and nice. I'm sure you'll see more of it on my trip. But yeah, this is just a great bag, and it fits everything that I need. Um, let's see. 
I have here the my other lens. I'm only bringing two lenses. All these batteries are from my spot GPS um, satellite device for tracking. Um, hair ties, business cards, travel. This is really important actually. I realized this on my last trip that all the liquids must go in a one bag. Otherwise they'll find them and they'll take them out and even if it's like lotion or lipstick or whatever, they'll find them, they'll take it out and they will get you for it. So this is really important to have everything in just one compa compact bag. No Piper, Piper, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 okay. In here, um, I have all my vitamins. This is an important bag because um, it depends where I am, but sometimes I'm not able to get the required um, nutrients that I need. So I have multivitamins in here. I have um, uh, turmeric, uh, valerian root, ashwagandha, just a bunch of, um, and then I also have my like Trader Joe's like sleep tea to rest. So I have everything I need that's all natural vitamins um, and minerals, probiotics, all that sort of stuff is in here and I think it's really important to have these when you travel. Um, just, just get in the habit of taking them because it really, really helps. I found it helps a lot. Um, over here, I have my earplugs and these are the, uh, the eye mask natural deodorant, primally pure, which is really good. And then this, I just, this bag I just use for my shower, like my dirty clothes, so you can wash them or whatever. This is it. This is all that I'm bringing, and now I'm just going to pack it all up. Second, and I'm heading to Granada today. Um, it's about 5 a.m. I was up at like 4:30. Um, just let the dogs out to kind of run around. I put all my stuff in the car. We had uh, just my pack, which is kind of heavy, but um, my visas, and then my purse thing, and then my water bottle, and just a little baggie of stuff. I'm heading to JFK with my dad, he's dropping me off there. And then my flight leaves at 8.30, and then in a matter of like five hours, I will be in Granada. to Granada. Um, this is all my stuff right here. A pretty easy ride heading over, no traffic. Um, took us about an hour and a half from Connecticut. Um, and then, yeah, it's a five hour flight. And then I arrive in Granada. And it's the uh, first stop of Central America and the Caribbean. From there, um, I head back to Connecticut in February for a couple days, and then I'm off to my le next leg. Right now, though, uh, it's just headed to Granada and then working my way up the Caribbean. It's phase two of Expedition 196, and um, I'm excited to share with you guys the this new vlog that I got going. Hopefully you enjoy it, and if you um, have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, be sure to su subscribe. Also, uh, feel free to comment, let me know your thoughts, what you like, what you don't like, so I can kind of tweak it along the way. But hopefully this gives you a better idea of my expedition and everything that is involved with it, um, including showing you guys some really cool places. So, like I said, if you want to see more stuff or see less of my face, just let me know, and hopefully we can kind of uh, work out a cool vlog. So, see you guys in Granada.
just arrived. It's about um, two, four o'clock now, actually. Uh, I was in border control for a while. They kind of held me back for having a fat passport. And uh, I, I guess I didn't have a hotel book, so that's kind of how I travel. Um, but I'm finally here. And now I'm ready to go to my bed and breakfast type place. Um, and I'm here until Monday, so tomorrow I'm gonna be exploring a little bit. But first, getting to the hotel. I'm gonna start exploring, hopefully catch the sunset. It's right near the beach, it's right in the jungle, kind of tropic, tropical area, so that'll be really fun. The flight was really good. It was um, about five hours, four, four and a half hours. I was able to get a lot of work done. Here, I gotta admit, it's, you got this like really chill vibe going on here. Even though I don't know what's going on and I had a hard time at border control, it's still like, super chill and I'm not really having any any you know concerns about anything at this point I think it'll be really really beautiful and a, a great time here I'm not sure what I'm doing yet but I'm sure you guys will see on this uh, on this vlog so see you soon all right so I arrived at my little like house hotel I had some problems at security in the airport they thought I had cocaine on me because they thought my multivitamins were cocaine so they held me up there and uh, questioned me for about an hour and went through all my stuff and then tested my multivitamins for cocaine um, and I was like a little worried but um, I'd never had that happen to me so it was a little nerve-wracking to be honest So just finished dinner, um, Ingrid, who is the owner of this lodge, made us amazing dinner of like this fish, kind of with a spicy curry kind of sauce, and peppers, and you, I thought it was yuca, but I guess it's um, sweet potato, no, yams, she said yams, um, and then green peas, carrots, and plantain, so it was a really, really, really delicious dinner. Um, and then she made this cake that had this shredded coconut that she mixed with um, green food coloring. So it was like a really cool and then topped with mango. So it was a really, really good dinner. It's nine o'clock. I've been up since like 4.30. Um, this is my room. Ready to uh, hit the hay. This room was about 40 a night. Um, this is the cheapest place I could find on this uh, in this area. Um, I caved and I drank the water. Um, I was told not to, but all, all the people here are drinking it, including some foreigners that were eating dinner, and I had to go along with it. it was, there was fresh lime squeeze in there from the gardens here. They grow all these beautiful um, fruits, and you just kind of collect them in the morning, and you squeeze them into your juice, and it's just apparently really good. I mean, the lime juice is really, really amazing. <laughs> this light is so bright, I can't even look into it. Um, anyways, I'm ready for bed. Um, it's been a long, long, stressful day. Tomorrow I'm gonna go explore um, the beaches, the rainforest, and share it with you guys. So that's a wrap. Good night.